Hello everybody, Rebus here welcoming you to a game I'm excited to play, Dragon Quest Builders 2. And if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. But let's go ahead and let's jump into it. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to just start a new game. Oh, I love where you can design like your character. Alright, we're going to go with the male dude. Okay, so it looks like... It can be like... Yeah, I can go like super like... I could go, uh, Goku Blue. I might go with a little, uh... I'm thinking a little, uh... Oh, I'm loving the, like, weird teal color. Alright, skin color, um... Let's go a little bit tanner. And let's go, uh, let's go with the red eyes. Why not? I was kind of hoping you get to do a little bit more with him, but I guess you're not going to... Oh, that's weird. It's like... I thought it would be... Okay, I was just a little bit confused. No, apparently that is like... Back... That makes no sense. Alright. Are you happy with this character? You can change the appearance... Name once you reach a certain point. Yeah, why not? You can now adjust the game settings. Once you're happy... Hit the confirm. Alright. Look up and down. That's... Fine? You know what, this all looks good. Sure, why not? Are you happy with these settings? Okay. Sure, why not? Finally getting into the uh, actual game. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Oh my gosh. Look at that dragon in the back. Wait, is that six-armed? That's pretty impressive. Thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Targon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out to rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Our own Holy Father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, Master of Destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrich before Hargan's glorious vision could be brought to life. Uh, did he just... Die? I'm very confused. The moon, the moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargan! Praise be to Malroth. Okay. O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from the world of oblivion. Lead us as ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Dragon Quest build us too. Rebus, you are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child, your destiny awaits. Oh, I'm act wait, am I actually a villain? Or, like, the skeletons and such good people. Kehehehe, <laughs> the look on your face, I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero, I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Yeah, sure, why not? You want to watch that mouth of yours? Boy, telling the truth might land you... With more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I'm actually just got a job for a lad like you. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me on the deck. So am I, like, a good character or am I, like, bad? I'm in a jail. Use L to move your character and R to control the camera. B to jump. Oh my gosh, I can jump! Can I pick up stuff? 
Reese peeks into the pot. Poo. Whiff. What a pong. This must be a toilet. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be empty for a very long time. No response, it's just a skeleton. Wait, are these guys, like, not bad? Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. Press A when you want to examine something to strike up a conversation. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask the girl on the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does it, she expect me to rest when she's been so noisy? Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with the dreadful dreadnought. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off the ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something out like that. Oh, why didn't God's names did I ever become a builder? If I have been a farmer or miner instead, I would never have been left to rot in the stinking cell. We thought the children of Argum were all vanquished, but they were running scared. How did it ever turn the tables on us? Okay. Is there anything up here? No. Who are you? Ah, the builder. Tell me, boy, do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves. And many a vessel has vanquished, vanished into the vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Are you scared now? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Okay. Man, this is like, nobody wants to be on here, but everybody's on here. Alright, let's, uh, let's... Ooh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, your slime. This is where we store our cargo. Real submariners call it the whole... Say you wouldn't be the apprentice b builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff from bits and bobs. I don't know how builders do it. And then is a magnificent... Hargon said, destruction awaited all that is built. To think of all that hard work going to waste. So can I actually... I can't do anything with this. I assume I'm supposed to go s Oh, upstairs. Pier Builder, these guys are kind of here. That's where that person died. You know what? Why not? Stairs are no match for you. I see you just can't keep a good lad down. Kehehe. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing across the open ocean. You have no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's a fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. Kehehe. <laughs> Keys of kelp. Rebus can't remember when he last ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start rebelling. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it with the stuff and press X. So where's my fullness? Oh, 65%, okay. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got the scoff of a scrumptious snack because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you will heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough, but don't worry. You'll be shuffling off this mortal coral just yet. I've got plenty of hard craft for you to get going on first. Thank you. You're such a friendly person. Um, okay. You can wipe that off your face. As long as you got some life in you, I'll give you a chance to get a hold of it, but I'll have to follow my orders to a letter. What's that? You want to know who you are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far you're up the creek without a paddle, I might add... Go and talk to the five monsters beneath the flag over there. Oh god, I don't want to talk to them. You're that apprentice builder. Nabbed in the canteen. Cantlin, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very much to know that you're in this night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do that. Well, 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 if it isn't the master builder. You're only in the presence of but you're prancing around like you're on the plot. Ultimately, you can't go any sick day without bumping into tolerant little builder. Hell bent on undoing all of our hard work. The world is going down the pan that this for sure our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builder like you. One by one. <laughs> okay. 
Please don't be another one. Erg. This ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The upper higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little Draki. Please talk normal. Hello, Ghoulman. We're the last surviving members of the Children of Hargon, the ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring the world to its knees, all in the name of the great, glorious High Priest. What's with all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospects of squashing you humans once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Who are you? Middenhall, Kanak, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did the hated heroes, the Scions of Erdrick, and lay almighty Hargon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Maldroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born, and at last he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say Hargon's ambitions will not perish with him. Okay. So we talked to all of them. Good. Can we go over to you now? Hee hee hee. So you talked to all the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little brighter, blighter, aren't you? So now you know where the lost survivors of the children of Hargoth Loyal servants of the mighty Master of Destruction himself, that means you builders are a sworn enemy. We're selling the ocean blue, rescuing up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else that gets in our way. You want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher ups know for sure, but I'm sure make no bones about it. I reckon you lot her up for a chop. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of the little time we've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws near. Okay. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make these ships shape around here. To start with, I want you to break up the driftwood and bring me the wood you're done. Get to it. Chop, chop. Okay. I can do that. Eh. Gotta punch it. Oh my gosh, it is like a pun- Eh. Take this. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to hit things, to be honest. Oh, crap. Apparently I just fell through the floor. I didn't even... Was there... Where was there a hole? Alright, we got that. I'm assuming there's more somewhere around here. No? Oh, no, mm, I saw that coming and I fell right into it. Whoa, 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 my deck looks much better now you picked up all the wood. Still, I suppose you've bring... been given the chance to save your sorry skin. They tend to give you a kick up the cock six. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, I've sworn servant of the Master of Destruction. I'm not supposed to fraternize with their kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling to your life for a little bit longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of... by smashing up stuff. Okay. So what do I need? Or do I need nothing? You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of the cell, you've been scurrying around my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. This must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your mu dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared with this, not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Hmm, it seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try. Luckily, there's plenty for you to get going with. For starters, some of the boys on the deck have jobs that you need doing. Report to them once you sort it all out. Okay, can I, like, punch this? No. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to these people. I saw you scramble around the wood, pocketing wood you can find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed our navigation outboard. To wit... You'll need wood to make some new torches. 
Okay, so I can use that workbench. Use it to make five torches. And I need some oil. Sweet. Show the torches, put them in the proper place. Okay, so... Place them on each of those. Alright, so I need to make five torches. And I need to put them... So that's fine. Oh, sweet! Uh, torches... okay. Oh, neat! It actually works like that. Okay. Look at this. I'm like putting... I'm putting this stuff on here for you. I'm a cool dude. I'm helping you guys out. Didn't he say one was down here or is it not down here? I kind of just want to throw this somewhere. Can I just like put it anywhere or no? Where are they at? Ah, it's over here. There you go, buddy. Seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flame burned brightly before for a ship such as ours. They could do it being a touch more sinister. If I do say so myself, I shan't complain. The deck is limited. I must say, your propensity for create to create unsettles me. Not that it matters, you will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others on board who need help. Okay. I mean, I'm enjoying, like, how this is, like, kind of a quick tutorial, but it's also, like, doing a really good job of teaching the game. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone think you own the place? The way you straddle around the deck, what's with that attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders, and you want me to give you a job to do. Tell you what. You can help me relieve the bar and being stuck for this good enough than ship, as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. Do you, how do you feel about going mano a mano with us? Oi, you fancy taking a swing at the kid? Just trying to kill him. Alright, better put the ducks up. I warned you. That skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come find me after the fight's finished, if you can still walk. How do I fight you? Well, this is problematic. Oh, crap. Alright, you know what? Eh, eh. The skeleton was defeated. Interesting. Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches are your hurt was my pride. Not that they should be surprised, you're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future, does it? Like you don't have a future to speak of. Alright, off with you and go tell that... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you fight like a crow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat. What's that? You would have smashed in the smithereens if you had a weapon? A likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches you're going to... Whiz at whipping up? Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? I gotta make a sword? We just learned a new recipe. Okay. Cypress stick. Alright. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Why well, never? Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand there looking, put your money where your mouth is. Alright. One more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. The weapon's no use otherwise. Alright, I'm gonna bash the skeleton's head in, so... Alright, let's see it. Alright. Uh, press X to wield it. Okay. So, if oh, okay. All right, show me the sniper stick. The boy genius returns. What do you say? Fancy another crack at him? Yes. I want you to watch the rare try and put himself back together once you're through with him. All right. Oh yeah, he's dead. 
Yeah, take that. I just... Erg, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself on up after this one. Go on then, lad. Go and brag about beating me. Well, you certainly gave the bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. Kehehe, <laughs> that's a new one. I'll wager no human shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Thanks for that, Builder. I certainly helped pass time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight. With that weapon in your hand, you're nothing to sneeze at. But you're not done for the day, just yet. Not by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bones that there's someone else on board who needs help. All right, unfortunately, I think we are out of time for this episode. Once again, if you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. But until next time, guys, this is Rebus saying, I will catch you later.